Hi, my name's Paul and welcome to a session on connectors in Visio. Now you may well have come across connectors in other Microsoft products such as PowerPoint and Word. Connectors in Visio though um, are a little bit different in the sense of you can have two different types of glue when gluing connections to connection points. Let me demonstrate. In Visio, connectors are often described in the sense of having dynamic glue or static glue. The way I like to refer to it personally is what's called a shape-to-shape -shape connection or a point-to-point -point connection. Let's see an example of this. What I have here already set up are two rectangles with a connector as you can see between each. You can see here the glue at the bottom of the white box and the top of the yellow box. In both cases the glue looks exactly the same, but if I move the yellow box rectangle here to the left hand side of the right rectangle, you can see that the connector reconnects at the two closest points as I move the yellow rectangle around the white rectangle. So this is an example of a shape to shape connection. And this is something that you wouldn't come across in PowerPoint or Word. On the right hand side here, if I move this yellow rectangle around where I've created a point to point connection, as I said, the glue doesn't look any different. You can see that it remains connected to the bottom of the white box and the top of the yellow rectangle, no matter where I move this object to. It stays connected at the same two points. This is something that would always happen in Word or PowerPoint if you use connectors in those products. So how did we get to this point when using connectors? So I'm going to delete this connector here. And then there are many different ways of connecting in Visio, but a straightforward way is on the Home tab in the Tools group, you'll see there's a button called Connector. There is a quick key as well there, look, control three, it, to use that tool, if you like the shortcut keys. If I click on connector, bring my mouse down towards the bottom of the white rectangle, you can see immediately as I come closer to the white rectangle, is that we get connection points appearing on the sides of the rectangle. As I draw my mouse towards that bottom connection point here, it's a bit like glue, a magnet, it gets pulled towards it, if I drag from the bottom of the white box down towards the top of the yellow rectangle, you can see that I've glued the connector between these two rectangles. If I now go back to the pointer tool, which you must remember to do, of course, otherwise it will stick on the connector tool. If we move this to the left-hand side of the white rectangle, we can see it's still connected from the bottom of the white rectangle to the top of the yellow rectangle. So as I move that around, it stays connected at the same two points because what I just created is a point to point connection. I went from this connection point here to this connection point here, point to point. So that's something that you would find would always happen in PowerPoint, for example. Now, if I delete this connector, let's see how to create the shape to shape connection. Clicking on the connector tool again, bring my mouse pointer into the middle of the white rectangle. You'll notice I get an outline around the outside of that. If I drag from the middle of this rectangle to the middle of the other rectangle, notice the green outline again, I let go. I then go back to the pointer tool. If I now move the yellow rectangle around, you'll now see that I have a shape to shape connection. Of course we've got a little bit of a kink here so to speak in the uh, connector which can be sorted out with alignment but as we move it around the connector reconnects at the two closest points. A shape to shape connection. So just to recap on that to create a point, point to point connection you use the connector tool to connect between two connection points. But if you want to create a shape-to-shaped shape -to -shape connection, 
they go from the middle of one box and drag to the middle of the other box with the connector tool. Thanks for joining me today and to find out more about the IT training surgery navigate to www.theittrainingsurgery.com Let us help you learn what you need to know when you need it.